was one of a kind, the only naval warship to serve in both world wars. A date which will live in infamy. Now she's battling her most serious enemy yet, time. After serving with such distinction in the last century, she deserves nothing less in the next. Brad Woodard, 11. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, or TPWD, has been challenged with a huge and inspiring endeavor, the preservation and protection of the historic battleship, Texas. The agency's task, as mandated by the Texas Legislature and the Legislative Budget Board, is to place Texas in a permanent dry berth. In October of 2010, a diverse team of experts, led by AECOM, was carefully selected by TPWD to aid them in accomplishing this significant task. TPWD Project Manager Neil Thomas tells us more. As the project manager for Texas Parks and Wildlife, it's my charge to ensure that this project adheres to the three requirements set forth in the RFQ. It is TPWD's desire to respect all the resources at play on the project. Throughout all phases of the project, we will be committed to respecting the cultural, natural, and physical resources we have. Throughout phase one of the project, the TPWD AECOM team has been hard at work to provide the study, analysis, and coordination necessary to launch into the next project phase. TPWD ship manager Andy Smith has provided Neil with as-needed project support during the entire process. For me as the ship manager of Texas, the phase one activities I was most focused on were three things. I set a priority on reversibility, that we could undo the proposed solution and that no permanent changes are made to Texas. The second was to make sure the impact of the dry berth project on the battleground was considered and mitigated. Finally, and equally important, was that the solution is more economically viable over a very long term for the overall operations and management of the ship. AECOM project manager Jerry Farhat led this carefully planned phase one effort. To develop dry berth design criteria for moving Texas, temporarily and permanently, the design team needed to understand the ship's current condition, risks associated with moving her, geotechnical criteria affecting foundation decisions, final aesthetics while in dry berth, visitor access to the ship, achievement of reversibility, stakeholder feelings about siting and design decisions, and regulatory agency involvement. As the team progressed into phase one, in-depth vessel inspections revealed that moving Texas into the Houston Ship Channel could present considerable risk to the ship, and cost estimates produced for temporary mooring options on and off-site were prohibitive. The team responded by developing design options that eliminated the necessity of off-site mooring facilities. To consider moving the battleship to an off-site location, either temporarily or permanently, the team needed to understand her current condition and the risks associated with moving her. AECOM conducted high definition scanning or HDS for the entire vessel. Additionally, a hull assessment, including dive surveys, was carried out by Ocean Technical Services. The HD scans and hull investigations revealed surprising and alarming news about Texas's fragile condition. My effort on phase one was to perform a detailed structural analysis of Battleship Texas. As part of that effort, my subcontractor performed a diving assessment on the underwater hull to determine, very importantly, a bottom profile showing us the status of the battleship where she is currently berthed. We learned that the hull is sitting on the bottom. My team also performed a study of the hull thickness and mooring structures. Very importantly, we performed a stability analysis giving us vital information about what may happen when we move the ship. We learned that a great deal of repair must be performed on Battleship Texas before she can be safely moved. The geotechnical studies performed during Phase 1 are critical to any siting decision related to the dry berth project. In our investigation, we analyze subsurface soil and groundwater conditions associated with the current ship's mooring. The primary output of this analysis was information we must have to design a foundation for the dry berth that will support the Texas. Public involvement is a critical part of NEPA, and we initiated this effort in Phase 1 by hosting a stakeholder workshop in May. 24 stakeholders attended the May workshop. 
A majority of attendees who submitted individual written comments were in favor of a dry berth as a long-term solution for the protection and preservation of Battleship Texas. Many attendees also expressed desire for Texas to remain in her existing location adjacent to the San Jacinto Battleground State Historic Site. Here are the four most promising dry berthing options that the team is putting forward for consideration, selected from the numerous alternatives developed and considered by the team during Phase 1. While each of these options meets the project's basic design criteria, they differ in the extent to which they meet other project goals. Visitor Safety and Amenities, Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA compliance, and Visual Aesthetics, including landscaping, would be an integral part of every design you'll see today. Vegetation included in the visual representation you're seeing today is purely representational at this juncture. Stormwater and seepage drainage have also been taken into consideration for each alternative design. Please note that design options are identified by numbers 1 through 4. However, this naming convention does not indicate preference or favor on behalf of the TPWD AECOM team. Our team is committed to providing a dry berth design that meets the needs expressed by NAVSI, aligns with the goals of TPWD, and instills pride and a sense of the historical significance of the battleship in every person who steps aboard the mighty Texas. Lori Baer, AECOM Associate Vice President and Project Coordinator for the Dry Berth Project, concludes today's presentation with the team's final thoughts. Today, the Battleship Texas Dry Berth Project team proudly presents four viable on-site berth design alternatives for consideration by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. During this phase one process, a multifaceted and thorough examination of constraints and contributing factors was achieved. This effort ranged from an in-depth marine survey of the battleship to geotechnical and structural analyses and from stakeholder and agency coordination to environmental and cultural resource studies. The accomplishments of phase one will propel the team forward to complete our tasks for phase two as we initiate and complete the NHPA and NEPA compliance processes we have the facts the understanding and the relationships to ensure that this project is a success operating in alignment with the leadership and guidance we receive from our TPWD project manager Neil Thomas our team's success will be achieved through a strong commitment to communication, teamwork, and respect throughout the project. Fully enthused by this great challenge, we continue to be honored to be here today, providing resourceful and worthy solutions for the citizens of Texas. We are on board and ready to participate in creating Battleship Texas's permanent place in history. When the guns are firing, it's <laughs>